In this demonstration, we will show you how you can quickly diagnose performance problems using a combination of application performance monitoring, database management, and operations inside services. We'll begin at the enterprise dashboard. This is the custom dashboard that I've created, bringing together my most important applications, database service, along with all its telemetry in one unified view. We can see that our software store monitor runtime is throwing an alert in the upper left corner. And down in the lower left, we can see that the AppDex for our software store is also low. AppDex is a standard measure of user satisfaction with application performance. Let's debug what's going on. The software store application consists of a variety of microservices that sit in front of an Oracle Autonomous Database. As you can see, one of our synthetic monitors has thrown an error, so we'll click on that to drill down. Looking at the last six hours, I can see that most of our synthetic test runs ran in an acceptable amount of time, but some of them were quite slow. Let's look at one of the individual slow runs. To do this, I'll navigate to the Application Performance Monitoring Synthetic Monitor page, select the Software Store Checkout Monitor, and view its run history. The Synthetic Monitor runs every five minutes. I'm going to pick one of the runs that ran too long and drill into the trace details for that run. APM stores every single trace from every single user doing every single transaction in every one of our applications. Right now, though, I'm only interested in the traces for this particular transaction. In looking at it, it's clear that one step is taking most of the elapsed time. The trace details give us a clear picture of every step of the transaction, beginning with the end user's browser request, through the various microservices, ultimately down to the database. We can see that time being spent is largely in a database call, which happens to be an update statement. Next, I need to investigate this SQL to see why it is taking such a long time. I can see the SQL ID, the database URL, the ATP ID. I will now move to the database management service for further investigation. Store ET is an autonomous transaction processing database which holds a software store application. Performance Hub is Oracle's integrated diagnostics and tuning toolkit and leverages the same best practices used by Oracle Enterprise Manager. We start by ruling out systemic issues such as CPU overload, which we can clearly see is not the case. The main activity chart is a picture of total database time servicing foreground requests. Here we can see a repeating pattern of large CPU usage in green, but it is the orange areas that show time spent waiting or application inefficiency that are most interesting to us. Ash Analytics is an interactive tool that allows us to do multi-dimensional analysis of database activity. By refactoring the ASH data by wait event, we can see that rollout contention is occurring regularly, but intermittently. The SQL identified by the APM service, which begins with the number two, is spending a lot of time in application waits. There is another SQL immediately above it that is consuming a lot of CPU time. We can use the blocking sessions tab to see current and historical incidences of rollout contention. The SQL statement triggering the APM alert is an update statement that typically should execute in milliseconds, but is being blocked. The blocking SQL is doing a select for update on the same table, blocking rows, and it's that one that is using a lot of CPU and taking too long to execute. This is the actual root cause of the problem. In our operations inside service, we have a feature called SQL Warehouse, which, as the name suggests, is a long-term SQL store for performance and trend analysis of your SQL statements to help you identify trends and proactively troubleshoot and mitigate SQL issues. Looking at the performance statistics for that particular SQL, we can see that our average response time has gone up well over 100%, which is obviously a cause of concern. And in the insights column, we can see that our SQL has degraded by over 50%. So while it maybe wasn't always bad, it is certainly bad now. Looking at the two performance charts below, it's obvious that the performance of the SQL has degraded substantially in recent times. One obvious question we might ask is whether the SQL is now being executed much more frequently than before. But a quick look at the history shows that the rate of execution has not changed. So our next step is to look at the execution plan of this SQL statement. And when we do that, we can see that this is a fairly straightforward execution plan, which will not scale with growth in data. As the size of the underlying table grows, the SQL will get slower. 
A simple solution to improve the SQL is to add an index. You can do it manually, use our advisors like SQL Tuning Advisor, or this being an autonomous database, you can simply enable the auto indexing feature. And indeed, that's exactly what we did. After the index was created, the performance problem went away. Now when you look at the dashboard, you can see that the database CPU utilization has gone down and the AppDex score has gone up. So what we've been able to do is leverage a combination of application performance monitoring, database management, and operation insight services, a variety of telemetry and analytics out of the box to debug a performance problem that showed up in an application but was caused by something else.